Tristele, tristele. <coughs> Usually, when, whenever I talk, completely informal way. Uh, so I, uh, I think you should, you should know that. <coughs> that Quran's distinguished is Kasorta. Distinguished panelist. Huh? Uh, distinguished as a panelist. And then, uh, I think, my, many of my old friends. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then, okay, so there are some perhaps, some professors, some educationists. Then, I think some people uh, just come here out of curiosity. Okay. So we all same human being. We everyone want happy life, successful life. Uh, no need to prove that. No need to reason that. Uh, not only we human being, but even other animals also have the same sort of feeling. Want happy life. At least less disturbances. Uh, and then, because of that desire, everyone who have that kind of desire have the right to, to achieve happy life and overcome disturbances. So, I think several thousand years human civilization. The, and in fact, I think the Darwin just said that because evolution. evolution. I think evolution itself, I think real mover. Of course, the chemical also make certain sort of rule. But those being who have that kind of desire, I think evolution, the basic mover of the evolution is that desire. Clear. So still we are moving. Uh, 20th century, now 21st century, now 22nd century, 23rd century, we'll go that. Till this planet remain alive. Once this planet begins to die, as of dying, Die. then we have to find some other planet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, from the Buddhist viewpoint of future reincarnation. They may then f try to find some <laughs> different places. Otherwise, we have no, uh, no need that kind of worry. Yeah, so, now I think they're more serious. Uh, 20th century, I always consider most important century of human history. Uh, a lot of, I think, the new things found or created, discovered by human being in technology field and science. And also, I think, new concept also, you see, found in, in that century. And I think overall, education field, health field, I think tremendous sort of Progress, advance, advance. Meantime, the 20th century also, I think, very, very, I think, century of bloodshed. According to some sort of scholars, they mentioned more than 200 millions of human beings killed in the 20th century. Uh, so, although within the 20th century, I think early part of the 20th century and later part of the 20th century, I think as far as concept of peace, concept of non-violence, and the feeling of fed up about violence, bloodshed, war, this, 
I think a tremendous change. Uh, so, this 21st century is just continuation of that 20th century. So overall, I think they now no longer the immediate threat of nuclear holocaust. No longer there. These was a very powerful sort of military blocks, blocks. Not there. Of course, some pockets here and there, some problems still there. So since, you see, now this century, uh, hopefully, much less violent century. Now, now in but meantime, uh, in recent years, you see those country or those area, material as well as modern education, are now quite sort of quite highly developed. But among such society, the number of people who have sort of depression and also some mental sort of uh, problems. And for example, I was told in Japan, among students, some depression, uh, some lonely feeling, and in some cases, suicide. That number increasing. increasing. And also I was told in in people's world, China, uh, the economic condition, at least, uh, coastal, co coastal, coastal, coastal areas, coast area, uh, living standard is much improving. Uh, but among these wealthier families, children, sometimes they say more restless in their mind, some problems. And then, so I think young children, I think below 10, right? Perhaps these, these children, I think much happier. They don't, much, they don't think much about complicated things. So, so long they have to play together. Occasionally, a little fighting, that's okay. Like my own case, my elder brother, my immediate elder brother, and myself, I think we two spend, I think, uh, in early age, we spend together more time. So, quite often, fighting. Uh, then, uh, so I'm younger brother, his elder brother, but the younger brother is more aggressive. <laughs> so, uh, but within a minute, we play together. So I think that's good. So then, grown up, better education, better experience, better sort of knowledge, uh, mind become more complicated, more sophisticated, and more visions, more hopes, more doubts. This brings more stress and distress, suspicion. At young age, I believe still basic human good quality is much sort of, dominant, much sort of alive. And our age grown up, the brain become more dominant, and we neglect about warm heartedness. Then these too much sort of hopes and kind of doubts, doubts. And these things you see, happen. That destroy our inner peace, and also they are emotion, positive emotion remain. 
Kasoda. Submerged. Submerged. And then destructive emotion then become more active with fear, with distrust, and extreme self-centered attitude and attachment, desire, greed. With this uh, negative emotion then become something uh, more active. As a result, family also not, made, not necessarily happy, more trouble, more divorce, more suffering. Uh, and then in the society also. And then worst thing is uh, leadership who come from that kind of society. Well, naturally, they are thinking also something like that. So we can't blame the leaders when they're doing something wrong. Difficult to, see, uh, difficult to blame. The very basis from where they come, like that. So too much competitive society, too much competition, too much sort of distrust, and difficult. Very much self-centered. And then, so therefore, now the education, more sort of sophisticated sort of human intelligence, sort of fully sort of develop, develop. develop. It is very necessary. Without that, we can't survive. And we cannot also protect more with a wider way. Yeah, human intelligence is marvelous sort of has the a city, marvelous thing, quality, marvelous quality. But but there are other force which something like the guide. guide our intelligence. More destructive way, more neutral way, more constructive way. That's the other quality of human being. Kind of way. Like human affection. So it seems to me uh, education is concerned. I think we, generally speaking, quite well advanced. Advanced, and more important, everybody uh, pay attention to the importance of education. Uh, now, time come. I think we need. Another field, we should pay more attention about another field because we already witness, you see, the, uh, there are, uh, I said, uh, sort of the unhealthy things, is it there? And we can judge, we can learn if we observe carefully then those individual, those family, those community, more. Affection sort of, or atmosphere. 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 They are uh, much happier. Even some problems happen. They usually make effort, common, common effort, much better. They wear a family or community too much sort of the distress. Uh, uh, and then some problems that happen, difficult. So that actually against the very nature of human nature, because we are social animal, individual survival, individual's happiness much depend on the rest of the community. And then particularly today's reality of the world, I always feel the century-old concept of we and they is no longer there. We should consider a whole part of the world that should be part of we. Because economic, economically, environmentally, and many fields, we interdependent, interconnected. That's new reality. So we must also develop uh, some kind of attitude, consider whole world is part of we. So extreme self-centered attitude is the just sort of unrealistic attitude uh, for one's own self, self-interest. We must take more care of the rest of the world, rest of the humanity, even this planet itself. So since many years, I sometimes I call 
they we are selfish but we should be wise selfish rather than foolish selfish selfish very narrow minded just look like animal animal also selfish but just look immediate so around hmm? so we are we have this intelligence our self should be uh, something more wise so like that so so now question and then individual also individual health also the more compassionate mind automatically bring inner calmness inner peace and self confidence so that reduce stress fear distress as a result our physical Health. elements also function normal way too much of stress too much anxiety too much anger uh, then is very bad for our health so from the health view point also the peace of mind is very essential or compassion mind is very very helpful and then unity including marriage i often often call the external beauty important but we i think we spend a lot of money for cosmetic right? makeup some uh, makes up hmm? uh, but real more important is inner beauty where is the inner beauty and outside not that much attractive but okay then <laughs> <laughs> other hand the inner beauty lacking very attractive uh, within one week or trouble will start so therefore the inner beauty is really really important so from uh, so more happier family happier society this inner quality is very very important now present existing education system i think pay much attention about the what's the physical requirement or physical comfort material values material facilities is quite natural the 8th or the 8th century 9th century 19th century 19th century 17th century of course everybody is excited about the external facilities industrial development huh? industrial development industrial as well development so now we i think reach another sort of stage, stage. Uh, the material facility there but already now showing already experiencing uh, there's limitation of the value of material thing some of my friend i think a billionaire very rich but as a person very unhappy person so the lot of the money fail bring in a peace and also power uh, will cannot bring in a peace in a peace or through prayer maybe to some people but i don't think for everybody everybody i think many i think religious believer every morning or every day pray but they also there's no guarantee really happy <laughs> happy <laughs> so so they everything ultimately depend on one's own mental attitude so now it seems on uh, many occasion uh, since many years as i i just was express uh, uh, when i give some talk in many universities some universities in europe and also in united states on uh, and different places uh, the modern education system uh, whether really adequate about our requirement this little question about in india also i often you see discuss with some uh, indian as friends like that uh, so now i'm happy uh, people more people now really now uh, seriously now as so that thinking about uh, thinking about that so this kind of conference i think very very encouraging it's good sign the sign of something now we really moving as i think very very good so i think education system 
is not is fixed by God, not fixed by something casual, absolute, absolute uh, sort of casual, absolute sort of I don't know, fix. Look, this modern subject, uh, com computer way, yeah. or economy, or science, biology, this, I don't think when separate education institutes started in Europe a thousand years ago, I don't think. The time passes, new sort of subject, then becomes something important, then that add in the education system. So now, in the 21st century, we witness something lacking in the education system. So, uh, it is logical now, add, add is something, something. Now here, I think one, uh, one important, or uh, I don't know, uh, one, one point I want to, 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 to share with you is about the promotion of this compassion, on these inner uh, values. Of course, various religious traditions uh, have sort of same potential, all have the potential to bring inner peace, or compassion, these things. But that not adequate, or not fit. Now, six, over, little over six billion human beings, uh, realistically speaking, impossible. All six billion becoming believer. Impossible. Non-believers, there. Uh, not only there, but maybe, I think, major portion of the six billion human beings not much concern about religion, religious faith, like that. But education, I think universal. So, an education system, through uh, education, what's that? No, through education. Uh, through education, I think we can, now for example, taking care about our health, hygiene, this we, we st study. We study, we teach. Uh, I think including sex, sorry. Uh, sex education. Uh, sex education also there. So like that, the, in the education, uh, the, what's it, the care of our emotion, uh, care of this positive emotion and also negative emotion, uh, how to regulate. What's it, uh, huh? How to regulate. Uh, how to regulate these things. I think through education. So usually, I copy the, the India sort of or the concept, secularism. According to Indian, uh, even the Indian constitution based on secularism. That means some, some of my friend is to consider secularism is rejection of religion. This is not, not the case. Uh, according to India, secularism means respect all religions no preference about this religion or that religion. And also, secularism, according to Indian sort of understanding, also recognize or respect non-believer. Like one ancient sort of or this, uh, philosophical school of thought, you see, uh, that called Charvaka, so denying existence of next life, existence of God, nothing, only this life. So it is non-believer, technically non-believer. So you see, among these, you see, I said, uh, two centuries, we see debate, or sometimes much criticism about Charvaka school of thought, nihilism, chadha, no, nihilist. nihilist, so consider very bad. But same time, respect them. They call Rishi. Rishi means sorry. Sage. 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 So, in their tradition, the secularism, respect, including non-believer. I think that is. Uh, I think that's wise. So, uh, when I say, when I use the English word secular approach, secular approach does not mean disrespect to religion. If you have religion, very good. You can add, furthermore, improve or strengthen our inequality. But without religion, 
we must have some way to educate people importance of our inner value. This is nothing to do with making holy, but simply our requirement for happy life, for successful life, happy humanity, and then eventually this century should be century of peace, century of compassion. Then I think our world really can be very happy human family. The more compassionate feeling there, I think billions, billions of other species of mammals, including fish, I think much less distances. Like that. Thank you. I'm going to introduce you. Oh, I think I, I, I got that. <laughs> One word, one word, one word, one word. <laughs> they actually, they invited me mm. here. I feel it is also my sort of duty. One of, I'm one of the six million human beings. So it is my own interest and also duty to come. But don't expect, you see, many answers come from Dalai Lama. Don't expect that. <laughs> oh, mainly, I'm expecting learning more from those specialists, that's all. <laughs>